Isaiah chapter 4. I'm actually going to read from uh, verse 2 uh, to verse 6. In that day, the branch of the Lord shall be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the land shall be the pride and honor of the survivors of Israel. And he who is left in Zion and remains in Jerusalem will be called holy, everyone who has been recorded for life in Jerusalem. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and cleansed the bloodstains of Jerusalem from its midst by a spirit of judgment and by a spirit of burning, then the Lord will create over the whole side of Mount Zion and over her assemblies a, cry, a cloud by day and smoke and the shining of a flaming fire by night. For over all the glory there will be a canopy. There will be a booth for shade by day from the heat and for a refuge and a shelter from the storm and rain. Well, this uh, uh, little section of Isaiah begins by talking about in that day. And uh, we've seen that phrase uh, before, uh, back in chapter 2, verse 12. The day of uh, the, the, for the Lord of hosts has a day against all the pride and lofty. Chapter three, verse 18. Uh, in that day, uh, the Lord will take away the um, expensive clothing from the, uh, the arrogant women in Jerusalem. Chapter four, verse one, seven women shall take hold of uh, one man in that day. So up to this point in that day has been a, um, a future day of judgment that the Lord is going to bring against uh, Jerusalem. Here, though, chapter 4, verse 2, it, it is a day of salvation for the righteous. And Isaiah begins by talking about the branch of the Lord. Now, that phrase uh, later on in Isaiah, in Zechariah, refers to the Messiah. Uh, here, it's not quite referring to the Messiah. I think it's the fruitfulness and the blessing that will come from the Messiah. Uh, because in that day, uh, the branch of the Lord will be beautiful and glorious and the fruit of the land uh, shall be the pride and honor of the survivors of Israel. It's more a picture of the, the fruitful blessing of the Lord that will come from the Messiah's reign. But uh, at this point, we're not, it's not clear that this is related to the Messiah. The, 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 the branch is not identified. And uh, the fruit of the Lord for the remnant. Again, we've seen that idea of a remnant in Isaiah. It's very important. There will be those who don't bow the knee to uh, to false gods who trust in the Lord, and uh, they will be fruitful and blessed and will experience uh, glory and honor. And then verses three to four uh, focuses on the, the holy city, uh, the holy city. And we remember, uh, again, uh, Jerusalem has been a focus in Isaiah so far, back in chapter one, uh, verse uh, 21. Uh, the faithful city uh, has become... Uh, a whore, uh, she who was full of justice, uh, righteousness lodged in her, but now murderers. Okay, so that once faithful city uh, became an unrighteous city, but it will become um, a holy city again, uh, a holy city. Rather than being full of um, idols, it will be full of um, uh, God's uh, righteous people. And... Um, the city will be holy, and the idea of holiness is related to the idea of being chosen, being set apart, but also being uh, pure. And you can see the idea of uh, uh, God's uh, choosing, uh, recorded for life, uh, everyone who has been recorded for life in Jerusalem. And that's the, the same idea that we get um, elsewhere in, in the Bible, particularly uh, Revelation, the book of life, uh, recorded in God's uh, book of life. But they'll also be um, uh, cleansed. They'll be pure. Verse 4, the Lord um, shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion. We reflected on the daughters of Zion at the end of chapter 3. And cleansed the bloodstains of Jerusalem. And uh, it seems that filth is, is more talking about that inner, um, you know, inner sinfulness. The bloodstains are the result of our actions. And so it's that kind of external... Um, uncleanness and so both of those are clean uh, cleansed by the spirit and uh, it's the spirit of judgment and burning so it will be particularly judgment that will uh, cleanse uh, God's people and again that's the idea of, of uh, judgment being uh, cleansing so we're getting this picture a pointer to the gospel but obviously it's not being kind of fully unpacked we're getting this idea that God's people will be cleansed uh, by a spirit of judgment 
but we're going to need to read on in Isaiah to see how this um, will uh, will happen. But the results in uh, verses five to six are glorious protection, glorious protection. Uh, the Lord will create over the whole side of, of Mount Zion and over her assemblies a cloud by day and a smoke and smoke and the shining of a, fly, a flaming fire by night. It's it, That's Exodus language. Um, just as God protected Israel as they left uh, Egypt and journeyed to the uh, promised land, uh, God is going to do this uh, again. But this is a uh, this is a new creation. Uh, verse uh, uh, verse five: The Lord will create. Uh, there's imagery of uh, new creation, and over all the glory, there will be a, a canopy. Um, there'll be no there'll be no temple or tabernacle tabernacle there. Um, that will keep the people out. Now, the, the whole place will be uh, glorious. And uh, the, the imagery of the booth in uh, verse 6, again, is an image of, uh, of uh, protection and shelter. <clears throat> and uh, you can see uh, that uh, Isaiah sort of piles up the descriptions, uh, shade, refuge and shelter, underli underlining uh, the idea of protection and from the heat, from the storm, from uh, rain, from all kinds of threats. And it'll be day and night for all time. So this is a, a picture of, of new creation, a glorious new, new creation, uh, just like uh, in uh, the end of Revelation where nothing impure will enter the new creation. It's, it's secure. It's safe. Uh, that's the picture that we are getting here. And uh, so this tucked away at this uh, beginning of Isaiah, it's going to get developed in the rest of Isaiah. It's going to get developed in the rest of the Bible. We have this wonderful picture of new creation for God's people who are cleansed. Uh, they'll enjoy a glorious new creation. Just that uh, wonderful uh, expression um, at um, um, uh, verse 5, sorry, over, uh, over all the glory there. Uh, will be a canopy. This is a place of, of glory. It's a place of protection. Um, uh, yes, this uh, this picture of new creation gets uh, filled out in the rest of Isaiah, the rest of the Bible. But, but here in a in nutshell, we have this wonderful hope of uh, God's people uh, safe and secure and uh, with God and uh, renewed and cleansed. And obviously we, we see it uh, through the Lord Jesus. Uh, this idea, this Exodus idea gets picked up, particularly in Mark's gospel. There'll be a new Exodus and uh, God will secure salvation for his people. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful vision of new creation, a place of protection and safety, a place uh, where your people will be cleansed from their sin and uh, will be with you forever. And uh, we thank you for how this uh, vision is unpacked in the rest of the book of Isaiah, but also in the rest of the, uh, the Bible. Uh, please, would we be people who orient our lives to this new creation? And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.